Saturday after the football game. After the Friday night football game. Your man was ready to eat. So we would drive 45 minutes out of our little town Saturday morning to get that Saturday lunch buffet. And the green beans were always on there. Mm. The green beans were always there. And they were always so good. Just that little nice brown sauce. The garlic. That special flavor that I couldn't figure out for the longest time. But I've done it. I figured it out. I figured out what it was. <clears throat> Let's cook some Chinese green beans. What up YouTube? It's your man, Beefy Big Guns. We out here! Woo! <sighs> Breathe it in. Ah, uh, green beans, let's go. First thing we got in here is some canola oil, hot pan. Not a whole ton of canola oil, but definitely enough to stir fry this whole bag of, it, of green beans. These are wax beans and uh, uh, Cherokee wax and Blue Lake pole beans we got out in the garden. And they are all the, what I call A's, uh, taken care of in good time so they stay crisp, um, good shape, and nice and long, and um, these are going in right now. Pan's hot. Green beans are in and we gotta let these fry down for a while. We got the heat on full blast now. Alright guys, there's not a lot to this recipe. You get a nice stir fry into the beans. They're getting there right now. What we're gonna do when we get about to this point is we're gonna throw in onions and garlic, and then we're gonna season. I'm gonna season that with garlic powder, because they're supposed to be garlicky. Black pepper. The secret ingredient is some kind of oyster sauce. And I don't I don't know how that'll show up. But this is the flavor I just couldn't figure out forever. What was that flavor in those green beans? What was that flavor in the green beans? It was oyster sauce. Nice healthy shot of that. We're also going to be adding soy sauce if you haven't noticed. But I don't like to put that in now because it, it lets the moisture out of the beans too quick. These need to stir. Give those a nice little stir. Now we're gonna put in some brown sugar. I don't really think the brown sugar does a whole heck of a lot, minus bringing the sauce together and kind of making it more sticky on the beans. Stir it together. These beans are almost finished now. We're gonna let them cook for another just couple minutes here. Kind 
time for the soy. Just a little bit for the salt content. And then that's going to just make all the water start seeping out of these things. So we get a good stir into it. Try to get that sauce so it's coming together. And it is, you can see it, it's bubbling now down there. Which means it's probably getting a little stickier. That's it, that's the dish. I'm taking these babies to this plate right here, right now. Get these couple of escapees in there, I don't care. That's how you Chinese green bean! Oh. Look at them. Perfect little green beans. Getting that sars in them. Oh, freaking yum. It's just a super easy recipe. If I wasn't filming, it would be like a 10 minute dinner. Look at it. Look at the onions. Look at the look at the juice, look at the steam. Ah. <clears throat> I'd also add that these are created designed for a buffet. So like what, you feel like you want to try something different, you know, on your next luncheon line? Throw a big old stack of these babies up there. Let's see what happens. If nothing else, you're going to have a bunch of amazing leftover green beans all perfectly marinated. Not the end of the world. Mm. Man. The ones that have been soaking for a minute, holy cow. Man, they get flavorful. But, uh, yeah, don't sleep on the uh, Chinese buffet green beans. They're the truth. This has been your man. Beefy big guns. Getting dinner in my fast. We out here. Catch you on the next one.